Hey guys, another year ending. We're gonna celebrate 2020. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the Becerra family. Wow, so, 2019 has come to an end. That's it. It's done. It's over. That's crazy, huh? It went by so freaking fast. So fast. Too fast, man. Huh? 2019 was a roller coaster, man. I mean, I think the best part was welcoming our son into this world. Yeah. Snow was a highlight of 2019. <laughs> I think this was a year of like growth and like reflection. For me, it was definitely, definitely a good year. I mean, you're always gonna have small things that happen during the year, but you know what? Overall, I feel like this year was a blessful year that just came by and I'm definitely looking forward to 2020. I mean, just my son being born, Noah, my beautiful, Prince. I can't believe it's gonna be 10 months, like this ten, week. 10 months goes by too fast, you know? Where did he go? Where did the time go? Nos están robando el tiempo. I want a refund. And then Emma's gonna be turning eight years old. Like, what the heck? I remember being 17 and having her now. She's gonna be eight. Like, but definitely it was a year of growth. We grew a lot as like partners in our marriage and as parents, we learned a lot too. Cause the first year of having a baby is, can make you or break you. Because you know, that lack of sleep, being sleep deprived and all that can really affect your marriage. Cause you know, but you just gotta stick through it. Just know that it's, it'll be over soon and you know, Babies will sleep eventually <laughs> again. But 2020 is a very exciting year. We are so ready for it. Okay. What was your favorite part of 2019? My favorite part of 2019 was my birthday. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, next. Thank you. Next. 2020, we're doing some big changes in our lives, like good changes. Cause change is good. We're gonna be budgeting. We're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of savings. Cause like we said before, we want to buy a house. We're buying a house in 2020, right? That's the plan. We're buying dude. your freaking house in 2020, so we gotta save some money. And we've been like listening and reading into this guy named dave ramsey i don't know if you guys heard of him um we downloaded this audio book so literally we both listened to it on our time off me while i'm driving he's on my phone i'm listening to it he's at the gym and he's listening to it so pretty much we've been like listening to him lately and he has a lot of good things to say i recommend it so I'm also going to be doing the cash envelope system. If you, any of you guys have done it, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, we're going to be trying this out and see how it goes. We're really budgeting our money. So all every single dollar we earn, it's going to be going somewhere. No leftover money. Like it's going into savings, groceries, um, vacation. It's like these envelopes. All, if you guys want to know more about it, let me know. I'm still learning. I'm trying to like teach him as I'm learning, but that's something I've been like researching a lot and it's I'm really into right now. I have like this whole like notebook and like all these things, huh? Maybe you guys. The Starbucks. Yes. Oh my God. So this is really crazy. You guys know I'm the queen of Starbucks. You guys know I love Starbucks and I'm always, sometimes I buy two to three a day. Like, who doesn't know that, but. What? <laughs> Literally buy like, almost every single day I would buy Starbucks, sometimes two, sometimes three. Like, you know, it gets expensive. And all of 2019, I was like, wow, treat yourself, treat yourself. But that got a little bit out of hand. And now I'm gonna. Rewind. Rewind and I'm gonna treat myself by buying myself. At home <laughs> that's the best you know so what the crazy thing i'm gonna do for me it's probably gonna be a lot of discipline you know like not buying that fast food not buying that starbucks mm -hmm. every day so but i'm still gonna reward myself so i'm allowing myself 
$20 of Starbucks a month, which means kind of like a Starbucks a week. If you get a grande, that's about what, five? And so a Starbucks a week. So there you go. So it's either like, it depends, you know, when I'm feeling like I feel like a Friday or a Monday, but that's going to be something I'm going to be doing once Starbucks a week. I don't know who needs to hear this, but there's food at home. <laughs> That's true. Actually, one thing about me is that I would rather prefer homemade coffee, believe it or not, than Starbucks. I go to Starbucks to With talk, me. to go on a date. And now it's going to be a luxury for me to go to Starbucks. Before, I was like a, a whatever thing, you know, oh, let's go to Starbucks. Now it's going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to Starbucks. Yeah. Like, it's going to be like small things that are going to be like rewarding, rewarding. yourself, you know, because you're going to work hard. You still need to reward yourself to see, to keep going like that guy, Dave Ramsey talks a lot about these things and it kind of like been opening my eyes a lot. So we could thank him. <laughs> yeah. You know, just he's to... always wanting me to like do this type of thing, but it's like when someone tells you to do something, you don't want to do it. But once it comes like from yourself, and you're so willing to do it, then that's when shit happens. Yep. Shit and, is gonna happen. And good shit. <laughs> hopefully, I'm only good stuff. I mean, to add to that, you know, yes, I was always the con the one that's conservative, save money. There's always a spender and the saver, and I'm the spender. I love shopping. I'm the saver, you know, like. I mean, he likes to shop too, but very like once a year he'll go shopping. Yeah. Shop, like every other day. Yeah, it's como shopping at Ross, you know. I'm like at Target. And I'll come out with like $150. And little by little, it might not seem a lot to you, but little by little, you know, that's something I want to share with you guys is that little by little things add up, you know, and it could be going out here, going out there, you know, 25, 30 bucks here and there. So we don't want to overwhelm you guys with our like budgeting and crazy stuff we're doing. But if you guys do want to see another video or you guys are interested in this Dave Ramsey envelope system, please put some comments down below. Absolutely. But we have a lot of goals for 2020 and we do want to throw in a few vacations. This year we were so grateful enough to go on a couple vacations actually. Yeah. You got a new car. I, I got my car stolen. I got a new car. It's been a crazy year like full of blessings and then we had our downs too but we just keep pushing through. The more ups than downs so you yeah. gotta look at the bright side. I'm gonna leave um, a little clip next a little recap of 2019 so you guys can see all the fun stuff we did in the past year been a journey bringing you guys along like i was kind of scared to be honest because who are mean let me tell you this let me tell you this i've been telling her to start it for yeah. a year but but i was like no like what am i gonna talk like, about nobody's like, gonna watch us like people are so mean on the internet like i don't know like i was really hesitant to do it but i kind of glad he pushed me at first if you watch her really really first videos i'm like don't really talk i'm just like oh she's very quiet like this I was shy because I feel like people are gonna judge me, and they still do. But I mean, people judge people judge regardless, though. You know, I just no to deal what. with it, and you know, I just want to show you guys like a different, like bring you guys along with us into our family and on this journey of like 
you know, like Noah and Emma and us as a couple, young couple, and we're just waiting till midnight so we can like give each other a hug and start in the new year, right? I can like kind of told my, all my family to wear white. I don't know what he's wearing. But I'm wearing a white sweater. I think white is such a fresh, clean color that I want to bring in the new year fresh. We're waiting for my sister. We're just gonna watch movies, just hang out. We got some wings. From Wingstop because we didn't feel like cooking. We just want to be chill. So if you guys see me, um, damn, she clapped her hands. If you guys see me, not see me, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty, we coming for you. Pray for me, but I'll be okay. I'll yeah. be okay. I actually do make pretty good coffee here at home. I'm just lazy sometimes. Mm. I want people to cater to me sometimes. But I'll, I'll, I'll cater to you. You know, I'm gonna go drive around in a circle around the block. Come back with the same cup you used a few days ago. <laughs> wow. And bada bing, bada boom, you have your star. Your new year is full of blessings and love and happiness. And we wish you guys nothing but the best. Yeah. It's been real <laughs> nice bringing you guys along into our family and showing you guys parts of us that we don't really share with our families and stuff, you know? Especially me, like, I don't really open up to a lot of people. And I feel like here I talk a lot about, like, Emma and, like, you know, all that stuff her dad kind of um, and you know what we appreciate all of you guys too we love you, know, you guys like, so much and thank you all guys. the positive vibes all the For good the comments support, the support amazing. you know what the goods outweigh the cons yeah. and you know what we appreciate those people that gave us uh good reviews and comments and you know what for the people that give us bad ones too you know what cheers you know what thank you thank you know you guys. That, that 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 negativity just pushes us to do harder and better and that's all it we didn't think we were gonna grow like pretty quick it's amazing how much support you guys give us and we love you guys so much and we're ready to bring you guys into this next year so we hope you guys are coming with us positive attitude ready to hook Good and jab vibes only. 2020 cut down that bad relationship any <laughs> bad stuff you gotta make it go bye bye good night and bam you know what? If you have some good goals, comment down below once again. We want to hear you guys. You guys are part of our family too. And we like you guys' input. And Happy New Year 2020 is here. May you guys. Happy Millennium. Damn, I feel old. I was born in the 90s. We're going to go hang out with our family now and just have a good time. And I hope you guys have a good time as well. ¿Qué tienes que decir para 2020? ¿Qué? Ay, güey. Que sea un año estu estupendo. Y que tengamos mucha salud. Y sobre todo, mucho, mucho, mucho amor. <laughs> Put it on him. Wendy! Yay! 2020. It's like three minutes before midnight. Yay! Three minutes before midnight. Calm <laughs> down. Just pretend. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 2 1. Happy New Year! My New Year's kiss, babe. It's like in the French time. Happy New Year. 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 So 2020 is going to be a blessed full year. We hope you guys enjoy it. All right. No, you have any words to say for 2020? <laughs> Emma, you? Guys, we'll see you in the new year. The family. Ah, ah, oh, wow. Wow. Wow.